2015 and 2016 chair. I'd like to tell you a story of how I ended up chairing the Bellevue Chamber of Commerce and what brought me to the stage here today. 20 years ago, I received a phone call from my father. He asked me if I would consider moving back to Bellevue from Boston where I had lived for 10 years. He had hoped I'd be tempted in taking over a business that he had sold nine years prior. I was working on attending an MBA program, ironically enough, in entrepreneurship. So I thought about it. I said, sure, why not? And he said to me, you know what, Tanya? It's probably not gonna happen. I'm gonna re renegotiate with one of the owners. Um, but I just thought I'd ask just in case you're interested. A couple weeks went by, I got a phone call from my dad and he said, pack your bags. I said to him, are we going on a family trip? He said, no, you're, you're taking over a company. What are you, what are you talking about? I thought, I thought you said you were going to renegotiate with one of the owners. He's like, yeah, that didn't work out. So I think it was my attempt for my family to get me back into Seattle, which I came back very happily. Um, but I was 26 years old, and I was shocked, and I was taking over a new business. Um, so being true to my word, I left Boston, and I moved in with my parents at 26. <laughs> I'm not sure what was more frightening, the prospect of running a new business or the prospect of living with my parents again. <laughs> I basically had zero business connections because I had left when I was quite young. Um, and I knew my biggest challenge was going to be to grow my business. I also had another challenge. I had no idea how to even begin to run a business. I was only studying it. Thankfully, I had my father to help me on that piece, but I really needed to meet new people. So I decided just to get out there and network. And that led me to join pretty much every group that was out there, literally every group. One day, I was invited to join the Chamber of Commerce and check out what they were doing. I would attend some of their events, like the ones we are all here tonight, I'd pass up my cards to the friendly faces and I'd sit back and wait for everyone to call me. <laughs> and I'd wait. And no one called. Um, and then I decided, gosh, you know, all these people in the room are people I could be doing business with, but what was missing? And I realized at that point that the chamber taught me a very important lesson. And that was nothing was going to happen unless I was going to make something happen. So I changed the way I did things. I began to select a few people at each event, people I could really connect with, people that wanted to get to know me, I wanted to get to know them, I wanted to see how could I help them, and in turn how they could help grew into 50 people, into 100 people. People were getting to know who I was, who my business was, and by helping each other and learning about their businesses, and they learned about mine, my business grew, from a, what started at a million dollars to just south of 10 million in a short five years. At that point, I was able to help a lot of people that were starting out just like me. It's not called net sitting or net eating, it's called net working, as Dr. Ivan Bisner said, and you really have to work at it. Eventually, I sold my business and they took it public a couple of years later. Um, and I ended up staying to work for that company for about 12 additional years. I've been in both startup businesses, I've been in publicly traded companies, and so I really understand from what all your obstacles might be, whether it be from a small business or to a large business. Now I run my own management consulting company called Rocket Fix, shameless plug, um, and I also um, recently opened up a business, uh, a restaurant in Woodenville, Washington. So I'm back to building a new kind of business. The Bellevue Chamber is many things to many people. But the primary role of the chamber is simple. To help businesses get strong and to help businesses stay strong. From chapping our causes in Olympia to being our voice when road construction projects threaten our business, the chamber helps us connect to each other, whether it be through social events or business events like here tonight. The chamber is constantly working for us. My main goal for the chamber and its members this year is to really work to help you meet and foster business relationships. And I plan to do this by sharing the Bellevue Chamber story to a broader audience with more technology and social channels than ever before. By launching new programs and services this year, we can help you get more connected and more recognition for your business. I stand before all of you, honored to represent you as the voice of the Chamber for the 2015 and 16 year 
and I truly look forward to getting to know as many of you as we can, as I can. Let's work together to help each other grow and make it fit to be here. Thank you for allowing me to be your, your leader this next two years.